Did you know that most people in the Bay Area receive electric service from two providers? Your local Community Choice Energy Aggregator, or CCA, supplies electricity from clean resources like wind and solar. And PG&E maintains the power lines and delivers electricity to your home or business. That's how your community ensures that we get access to the cleanest energy possible. If you have solar or are considering getting solar power, you can receive bill credits through a program called Net Energy Metering, or NEM. What's great about NEM is that excess energy you produce beyond what your home or business is using gets reflected as a credit to your account. These credits can offset charges for electricity you use in the future. If your solar panels produce more power than you use on an annual basis, you can even be paid for it. NEM is a great way for you to help your community transition to a cleaner energy future. NEM program rules differ between your local CCA and PG&E, so we'd like to point out similarities and differences to help you better understand how your solar benefits are reflected in your electricity bill. First, let's talk about the similarities. If you're installing solar, you'll need to get approval from PG&E. They'll contact your local CCA when your system goes live. You don't need to specifically enroll in your CCA's NEM program. That should happen automatically if you're already a CCA customer. Information on your solar system will appear on a single monthly electricity bill from PG&E. PG&E collects a minimum delivery charge of about $10 a month from all solar customers and applies this to your annual electric delivery charges. Now, depending on which NEM program you're on, the billing and benefits may differ slightly. Let's review these differences. As a CCA customer, you'll see a dedicated page on your PG&E bill with your CCA charges and credits, including any credits for excess generation. PG&E only service customers won't see this. Most CCAs settle charges monthly. This means that if you produce more electricity than you use that month, you'll get a credit. If you use more electricity than you produce, you'll be charged, if the amount exceeds your credit balance. If you're on PG&E only service, they'll settle that net difference annually. Most CCAs have an annual cash out in the spring and may pay you for any accumulated credits that you haven't used up through your everyday electricity use. Some offer a more generous cash out than PG&E, and some have special incentives for low income or other customer groups. Check with your local CCA for details on additional NEM benefits. Still have questions about solar billing or what being a solar CCA customer means for you? Contact your local CCA to learn more about program options and benefits and how to make the right choice for you. Together, we can ensure a clean energy future for everyone in our community.